Good morning. So, we are on buttermilk this morning. It is eh, a little after 6 a.m. And we're just starting out couple of hours ahead yeah, about 20 minutes from sun up maybe 30 hopefully we shall catch some nice stuff maybe some nice light but it's pretty clear and this first part is steep. Then we'll zigzag up the road. And that's where we gotta go. Way up and over. It's actually where they do the X Games in the winter time. So, probably about 30 minutes in or so. Probably three quarters of a mile up, somewhere between 500 and 750 foot gain. Sorry, I'm somewhat out of shape, so even though I've only got a small tripod, one body, and 7200 and 2470 lens on this pack, still. Oh, probably pushing 2025, 20, which isn't much, but on the steep stuff makes a difference. That's one of the reasons I like this pack so much, it is so comfortable. But doesn't make it any lighter. So uh, we are somewhat past official sunup. I think it was 6.26 but uh, of course with the mountains in the way it's going to be a while to actually crests the stand of trees in the way behind me here but uh, that's where the sun will come up just right behind that ridge line but like I say it's going to be a little while absolutely beautiful up here but then it always is Too, too many people up here. It's actually quite nippy this morning. I'd say 40s, which is rather refreshing. And that's another reason I like to be out early. Take advantage of doing the hard work when it's nice and cool. But this little light jacket's coming off in a second. Hey guys. Oh, do you know what time is, Kim? 6.45. Okay. So, uh, okay. yeah, sunrise this morning was uh, 6.26. And you can see we're just getting light on the trees now. So it's just cresting. You can see it over my shoulder there. So one thing to be aware of, especially in the mountains, just because sunrise is at a set time doesn't mean you're going to see the sun right then. You might be 30 minutes or even an hour behind, depending on what's behind you, between you and the sun. Anyway, that's one of the things I always look for or prepare for. But if you are going to get there on time, it gives you a little extra time to get set up. Uh, this light's just gorgeous now, and just, you just see the sun through the trees. I'm still working way too hard. Hey guys. So, making good progress. It's just such a beautiful view of the valley. Uh, I figured I'd let you have a peek. So I don't know if you can see a little white thing right over there. You might just be able to see something spinning. That's the radar tower for the airport. 
So you see that ridge line, and beyond it there's another ridge line with a line of exposed sedimentary rock over there. That's uh, that's my neighbourhood. Uh, there's actually some snow down here still, which I'm pretty amazed about. A little bit on top of Cypress, there's Mount Cypress over there. It's up in uh, kind of Carbondale on Highway 133. Uh, little snow there. And some more up there. Yeah, I think that's see the Pyramid or Maroon Peak over there. See that red one right in the distance there. I knew, um, I know we wouldn't make it up here for sunrise, but uh, the way the sun's coming up, I'm hoping uh, it isn't quite fully, uh, the sunlight's not fully in the valley behind us here. Um, once we get to the top, here you just get a, uh, a beautiful view over uh, Capitol Creek and uh, Maroon. Absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, you can see I've taken one layer off. I keep moving, otherwise I'll get chilly. It's a teeny little bit breezy. Not bad. So these are certainly the uh, days when a mirrorless system sounds very tempting. Light a tripod, which I actually have today anyway. I just got my travel tripod. I know I wouldn't be doing any long exposures or anything, so I can go with a faster shutter speed. But saving a few pounds when you're hiking. It's only about I think two and a quarter, two and a half miles up here. And uh, you can go straight up single track trails or up the road like I'm doing today, which is longer. But uh, like I say, it's only about two and a quarter, two and a half miles. And about 2,000 feet. Uh, what is that? Probably six, seven hundred meter elevation gain. If you decimalize people. Uh, yep, I should be at the top fairly soon. But you see the difference in the aspens up here. Much older and bigger. You can actually see them getting thinner and thinner as you go down and the bigger fatter ones are up here I just love that white and green it's gorgeous like I say in the fall this is just all blazing gold very pleasant alright next one will be at the top so not quite to the top but uh, what I did get Oh, is this scene? So, uh, I didn't properly set up. Um, I just uh, did some handheld stuff. Uh, fairly fast shutter, F22, try and get some starburst through those trees and the light rays. Uh, I think my ISO was around 200. I'll, uh, I'll put it up if uh, any of those shots came out halfway decent. Yeah. All right. Hey guys. So, we are at the top. There's the gong. You can ding a dong if you want to. And looking back towards Aspen and Independence Pass and Highlands and I think Maroon or Pyramid Peak and the other little bit that goes up that you can still go up to. But I think that's enough for me today. That's uh, two and a half miles, two and a quarter miles and an hour and a half at about 2,000 foot elevation gain so 
that's pretty decent for me. They say uh, two miles an hour and then add a 30 minutes or an hour for every thousand foot of elevation gain, so I'm quite happy with that. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to bother shooting. That light is so harsh. Uh, looking down there. I've got a couple of nice ones from the past, and maybe I'll post those from uh, from times past. Better colours on the mountain, better timing. So uh, after some thought, I decided I would um, actually do some work. So. As per usual, just going off my histogram. So, one one hundredth at F10, ISO 64, it's on auto, but um, it's not going to change anyway in this light. So what I actually did, um, as you can see, just zoomed in one to one, put focus in there, and then I focused on these little daisy looking things in front of me with the grass so uh, what I'll do is just a focus stack and I, I um, shot them the same everything's the same except for the uh, ISO being on auto but that didn't change so I'm not going to worry about changing that setting but we'll uh, we'll stack them and, and see it might actually make quite a pleasing image in general anyway so we'll see um, yeah after coming all the way up here I was like yeah maybe I should uh, should do something you guys tolerated me waffling on all the way up here but uh, yeah so I got my little um, Manfrotto B3 um, and that's a big ass a D810 and a 7200 2.8 lens on it but uh, when I've got it in this kind of configuration really wide and low there's hardly any breeze you can see the grass moving a little bit um, for the extra two or three pounds of weight I saved it was well worth it in my opinion but uh, I will um, yeah I'll come up here when the weather's starting to get a little more shitty and bring a little more bring my other tripod if the weather's going to be a little off and uh, bring my yeah the bigger tripod it's so much more stable and I'll probably end up um, you can see that little trail going up there it just takes you to a slightly different overlook uh, there's a great so I'll come back when the weather's starting to turn um, and I'll bring my bigger tripod it'll be more stable if uh, the corona, corona, stop. No, oh, thank you, my little princess. Doing her best to uh, inflict pain and terror on the uh, mouse population up there. Uh, but yeah, I'll come back in the winter and or, or the fall. Um, color change, get up a bit earlier, or earlier relative to the sunrise and uh, hopefully there'll be some skies and even some low-lying clouds or something over the mountain that'd be really nice but uh, yeah got up here a little too late today lights a little too harsh for anything really nice but i'll see how this stack composition comes out and i would um i'd just do a blend in uh, i'll do my early edits in lightroom um try and do everything that i'd um do everything the same for each image and then uh just blend them in uh, Photoshop uh, and that would just be an easy brush out just foreground background because the transition uh, is actually quite nice with that uh, all the grass and everything it should be a very soft transition so I will talk to you all later I'll have a good one bye